now subtracting equation 1 and 2 on subtracting equation 1 minus 2 and using the symmetry equation that is y is equal to y dash this equation number 3 so this comes out to be x square minus c square t square is equal to x dash square minus c square t dash square so let's say this is equation number 6 now in this expression we will substitute the value of x dash and t dash we will substitute the value of x dash from equation 4 we will use equation 4 and equation 6 use equation 4 and equation 6 so in 4 we have x dash and we have t dash so we will substitute the value of x dash and t dash in the expression in this equation number 6. So we will get finally x square minus c square t square is equal to and then I will take in common uh, not common uh, lambda square x minus v t square minus c square the value of t is is t minus x y v into 1 upon lambda square So by simplifying this, we get lambda square x square 2x v t plus v square t square minus c square lambda square t square minus 2x t on b into 1 minus lambda square plus x square v square 1 minus lambda whole square now we will equating the coefficient of x t equal to 0 in this equation number 7 so on equating this x t equal to 0 so x t one term is this and the term is this so we will equating this term equal to 0 V T into lambda square plus lambda square C square. Two we also here two upon V into one minus one upon lambda 
square equal to zero. As we are equating the coefficient of x equal to zero, so t will not here. So we will rewrite this is two v lambda square plus two lambda square c square by v minus two c square by v equal to zero lambda lambda will get cancelled we simplify this equation two is common so we can write here v square to lambda square minus two lambda square c square minus two square equal to zero on rearranging it we can write this lambda square is common c square minus v square is equal to c square and lambda square comes out to be c square c square minus v square or I can write it 1 minus v square by c square by taking c square common here so lambda is comes out to be this and root 1 minus v square by c square so we have evaluated this constant lambda now we can substitute this lambda in the equation number four because in the equation four we have considered Lorentz has considered x dash is equal to this x dash is equal to lambda into x minus vt so this expression vt we can write this is v square by c square and by symmetry y dash is equal to y and z dash is equal to z so these the space coordinate has this type of a relation in the Lorentz transformation now we want to how the time is related in this in this case so we will substitute the value of lambda in expression 6 so by substituting the value of lambda in equation use the expression of lambda in equation number 6 so we will get here t dash is equal to lambda into one, t minus x by v into 1 minus lambda square so on substituting this we will get write 1 minus v square by c square this is t minus x by v this is 1 this is 1 upon v square so I can write this is 1 minus v square by c square so the expression 1 minus v square by c square on solving this we will get a t minus x v y c square 
और आई कैन एट टी माइनस एक्स वी बाई सी स्क्वेयर वन माइनस वी स्क्वेयर बाई सी स्क्वेयर सो दिस इज द रिलेशन फॉर द टाइम कोऑर्डिनेट टी एंड टी डैश सो द सेट ऑफ क्वेश्चन एक्स डैश इज इक्वल टू एक्स माइनस वी टी ऑन वन माइनस वी स्क्वेयर बाई सी स्क्वेयर y dash is equal to y z dash is equal to z and t dash is equal to this so the set of these equations we will call lorentz transformation equations equations and in this case when we consider that velocity is very very small as compared to c in that case these transformation equation lorentz equations we have here lambda is equal to 1 minus v square by c square so when v is very small in that case this term 1 minus v square by c square is approximately equal to One, and this transformation it reduces to x dash is equal to x minus v t, y is equal dash is equal to y, z dash is equal to z, and t dash is comes out to be t. Also, t dash is equal to t minus x v y c square. So. One minus v square by c square. So this term is approximately equal to one, and this term, because v is very small, so this term is also very very small. So we will neglect it, and this equation reduces to the t dash is equal to t. So this is at very low velocities. at very low velocity lorentz equations reduces to galilean equation transformation equation nation equations